guys, it's Kat, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on Inner Fire by Rachel Stedman. And obviously you notice I am not in my usual room. I'm actually back at my dorm, and because I, I have my own room now, I'm going to actually like be able to do videos and everything, so without like being embarrassed by my roommate. Alright guys, so first I'm going to talk about how I felt about the book, and then I'm going to get into um, the spoilers of the book. So, Inner Fire actually kind of had me mixed. I really didn't know how to feel about it. I loved it, but there was a, quite a few parts where I just didn't like it as much. Um, Inner Fire is about a girl named Corin who um, has this ability that if she gets upset, anxious, angry, um, hurt, she starts to heat up and things tend to burn and in this particular time her best friend is being attacked by this old man in a store and she just gets so angry that she ends up putting him in a hospital and she ends up burning her hands. Um, I did like Corin. I liked how strong she was. She was definitely scared of her ability. She did not want it. She didn't like it. But I also was kind of annoyed with her because she kind of was a little whiny through the book and I didn't really like that and she was just jumping the gun a lot and she was she wasn't like you know like normal characters I would say um, her best friend really isn't in a lot they talk a little bit and I personally don't like her best friend in general because her best friend's kind of like a really bad influence if I think about if you think about it and I just I don't know um, because Corin ends up pretty much burning down a store um, cops want to talk to her and her grandmother who Corin doesn't really like comes and visits them and in the end Corin's grandmother takes her back and she meets this boy named Rowan who she really doesn't want to be around because she has her own problems and she doesn't really want to deal with his problems and their relationship wasn't what I really liked because it was very fast. She meets Rowan all of it, and all of a sudden she ends up like making out with him. So I really didn't like that. Um, I also didn't really like how this book was like, it was really fast paced. Like it was fast paced. I finished, like I loved it. Like I finished it in an hour, but it was a very fast paced book. This whole book, like the time span between it was literally one week. Not even, it was like five days. So I'm like, whoa, this went really fast. But other than that, I did like the book and I would suggest it to you. Um, I have to thank the publisher and Rachel Sedman for sending me this book. So thank you very much. Um, if you have read this book or you want to talk about the spoilers, then just stay. And if you don't want to know the spoilers or you haven't read the book, then I will see you at my next video. So if you stuck around, that means that you want to read, you have read the book, that you want to know more about the book, that you just, you know, wanted to stick around because you love hearing me talk. Um, so let's get into the spoilers. Corin has had this gift for a very long time. She um, came around when they were living in New Zealand. This book is taken place in London, but when she was living in New Zealand, there was these major earthquakes. And when it was when she was younger and her little brother Jamie were younger and they just like messed her up. They messed up the family like she was having nightmares. She was scared. And the one thing her mother did was her mom gave her sleeping medicine to help her not have these nightmares. And Corin actually ended up waking up and burning the house down in her sleep. And it was, I guess, like a flamethrower, like she shot it from her hand and fire came out of her hand. That's pretty cool. But she burnt the house down. And ever since then, Corin has always been very, very scared of her ability. Um, and she really doesn't think of it as, as an ability. She thinks of it as a medical condition. And that's what her parents have always told her, that it was a medical condition. And her grandmother comes and there's like a little tension between the family because this it's her great-grand and... Great Grand is kind of crazy and very paranoid. Um, so, yeah. When Corin ends up burning the store down that the man um, uh, was 
trying to attack her best friend. The man actually, like, was trying to pretty much rape her best friend. And when Corin burned down this that store, um, the police kind of are wanting to question her. And when her gran arrives, um, there are bad people that are after her in the train station. And they're trying to get to her. And, like, there's these new... Um, like video cameras I guess and it's like it's like I spy or spyware or some it's a type of spyware and like they're all going I guess the cameras are going whack and it's just like a scary situation and these men are trying to get Corin because they saw her, the video and they are like wanting to kidnap her and everything and it's not even a few days after Grand comes where um, there's these people watching them and everything, and Grant's like, nope, I'm leaving back to my home, and she wants Corn to go with her, and Corn does not like that idea, she does not like her grandma, her grandma's kind of wacko, um, she's just adamant about it, and her mom's like, no, you need to go, like, she's gonna help you with your medical condition, and, um, so she goes, and She's kind of paranoid now, too, because she's, like, watching everywhere because she's that scared that she's going to be kidnapped again, and Grandma's like, meh. And so when they arrive, she, um, Corin meets Rowan, and it's like, I feel like it's love at first sight, or attraction at first sight, because they're kind of all, like, googly-eyed at each other, and not even a day later, like, they go on a date, and they're already, like, making out, and getting close to stuff and like they're very sexual they are downright sexual they are going at it like rabbits pretty much they like just met each other and I'm like what the heck like you don't even know each other very well and she even understands that Corin does but she's like eh like I like his kisses like I'm gonna keep like you know going with this guy and like while she's there she's finding things out and she finds out like she can heal her hands if um, she like uses her gift or her power um, and she's very adamant like not to use her gift and then one night she you know hears a conversation between her grandmother and this man and she's like grandmother who are you like what's like what's wrong with our family and Gran sits down and pretty much explains to her like you know um, that she, her grand is very old, she's over actually a hundred years old, and she was in the war, and she was a spy in the war, and then she was part of the, part of the SEO, like, special operations, and that they went on missions, and she, grand met her husband there, and how there was just bad people, and they all were using their powers, and that some of them had a very strong inner fire, while others didn't, and Gran explained to Corin like how she was like her grandfather that she was very strong and she ends up also explaining how her husband dies in the f in one of the fires and it, it's like a kind of it's I liked the backstory behind why they have it um apparently it passes down it's passed down in her family from daughter to um granddaughter to like it just passes down the line in the daughter sense and that was really cool. There was definitely a lot of different elements, I guess. There was a lot of, I don't know if there was different plots or something, but there was just a lot of different things. Um, Cor Corin and Roran's relationship does not last long, actually. Um, so when Roran was little, he kind of was raped. I don't know, really. Like, it was like, I think... She doesn't really know, Corin herself doesn't know if it was consent or not, because how Rowan explained it was like, oh, he wanted it, but then at the same time, like, it seemed like when he explained it other times, he didn't. And actually what happens is Corin finds out that Rowan has a son, and from, she flips, she literally burns up and, like, sends fire everywhere. It doesn't burn the house down, and but she boils the river, and she walks through the river all the way back to her grandmother's house. And so that's different and then it went into and then it was just I don't know I guess there was a lot of rambling going on 
Um, Corrin was upset about finding out that Rowan had a son without her being told, even though they didn't really know each other long, so I just don't feel how easy that would be to come up in a conversation. Hey, I have a son, and by the way, like, my parents are going to visit their grandson, even though, like, they don't like her. And, yeah, it was, like, there's a lot of, like, trailing off thoughts which I don't personally like. I didn't like that. There was like, oh, like she made weird observations to like, oh, there's a tree and it looks, I don't know. Um, but one night the power goes out while she's talking to Rowan and she's captured and then there's like a bunch of fire and there's a helicopter that goes down and pretty much that's the end. Like the, there's a helicopter that they blow up, that Corrin blows up and it goes down, and the cops are like kind of taking care of it, like, oh, don't worry, like, they're, it's like oh, a helicopter like lands in the middle of our town for, you know, this always happens. Um, and Corrin, I guess, is offered a job in the special operations. So I don't know where that came from. So there's just like some things that really didn't come out, like, it came out of nowhere. I did like the book, I really did. I just guess I wish it had a little bit more. It only lasted a week. Like, this book took place in one week. There was no, like, this. the plot line needed to be thickened. And the characters definitely needed to have more of a depth. I really did not connect with them as, mu as I would have liked to. So, that is my opinion. But I do like that Rachel said minute and their publisher sent me this book. I am glad that they did. I loved reading it. So yeah, I will see you guys next Saturday with another video. And if you want to see, I guess, my room, maybe just leave me a comment down and I'll give you a short tour of my little dorm room. See you guys next week.